Hello, my name is Sister Ross and I am talking about our conference talk titled Deep in Our Hearts by Douglas D. Holmes. It was just this past April. Um, in the first paragraph, he states, the Lord continues to put in place through his prophets all that is needed to help us prepare to receive him. One of those needed things is the new children and youth initiative. Many of you are familiar with this program's emphasis on setting goals, new emblems of belonging, and for the strength of youth conferences. But we must not let those cloud our view of the principles the program is built on and their purpose. And the purpose is to help get the gospel of Jesus Christ deep in the hearts of our children and youth. I believe as we come to see these principles more clearly, we will see how the Lord is trying to help us, all of us. I like that. Not just our youth, but all of us. The first principle is relationship. We are not expected to find or walk the covenant path alone. We need love and support from parents, other family members, friends, and leaders who are also walking the path. These kinds of relationships take time. Elder Del G. Renlin said, To effectively serve others, we must see them through Heavenly Father's eyes. Only then can we begin to comprehend the true worth of a soul. Only then can we sense the love that Heavenly Father has for all his children. Um, I just like the part where it says to effectively serve others, you must see them through Heavenly Father's eyes. Seeing others as God does is a gift. What, what will matter most is what others learn from you about who they really are and what they can really become. Helping others understand their true identity and purpose is one of the greatest gifts we can give. Seeing others as ourselves, sorry, seeing others and ourselves as God does knits our hearts together in unity and love. I love how it talks about true identity and purpose. We each have an, an identity and a purpose. Sometimes we get so busy doing that we forget that our identity is not defined by the things that we do. Um, the unity we seek to be one in Christ, to connect ourselves with him, to connect our hearts with heaven, we need individual, spiritual experiences. Those experiences come as the Holy Ghost carries the word and love of God to our mind and heart. And in my mind, that is personal revelation. The word of God is spiritual power. It is truth and light. It is how we hear him. President Russell M. Nelson said, when we choose to repent, we choose to change. We allow the Savior to transform us into the best version of ourselves. We choose to become more like Jesus Christ. This process of change fueled by the Word of God is how we connect with heaven. And um, I like the part where it says, when we choose to repent, we choose to change. And then, um, so that paragraph, I would think is repentance. And then this next paragraph also talks about choose, choosing, but in a different form. We must choose repentance for ourselves. The gospel cannot be forced into our hearts. Elder Renlund also said, our Heavenly Father's goal in parenting, let me put an emphasis on parenting. I just love the thought of Heavenly Father parenting, is not to have his children do what is right. It is to have his children choose to do what is right. And that choice to me is agency, not forcing, but choosing. Goals are simply a tool that helps us connect with heaven through revelation, agency, and repentance to come unto Christ and receive his gospel deeper, deeper in our hearts. Finally, to get the gospel of Jesus Christ deep in our hearts, we need to engage in it, to give our time and talents, to sacrifice for it. President Ezra Taft Benson said, we are commanded by God to take this gospel to all the world. That is the cause that must unite us today. Only the gospel will save the world from the calamity of its own self-destruction. Only the gospel will, will unite men and women of all races and nationalities in peace. Only the gospel will bring joy, happiness, and salvation to human family. And I find that uh, paragraph so comforting, especially right now where we are in life. 
Elder David A. Bednar promised, as we empower the youth by inviting and allowing them to act, let me emphasize again, inviting and allowing them to act, the church will move forward in miraculous ways. Too often we have not invited and allowed the youth to sacrifice for this great cause of Christ. If our youth are too underwhelmed by God's work, they are more likely to be overwhelmed by the world. And I'd like to change that a little bit because I think that applies to all of us, not just the youth. Let me restate that again. If we are too underwhelmed by God's work, we are more likely to be overwhelmed by the world. President Nelson said to the youth of his church, if you choose to, if you want to, you can be a big part of something big, something grand, something majestic. You are among the best the Lord has ever sent to this world. You have the capacity to be smarter and wiser and have more impact on the world than any previous generation. On another occasion, President Nelson told the youth, I have complete confidence in you. I love you and so does the Lord. We're his people engaged together in his holy work. Young people, can you feel the trust President Nelson has in you and how important you are to his work? Parents and adult leaders, I invite you to see the youth as President Nelson does. As the youth feel your love and trust, as you encourage and teach them how to lead and then get out of their way, they will amaze you with their insights, abilities, and commitment to the gospel. They will feel the joy of choosing to engage in and sacrifice for the cause of Christ. His gospel will get deeper into the hearts and the work will move forward in miraculous ways. Sisters, I testify of the truth of this. I know that there is a work to be done and there are many that can do that. And I hope that we can work together and come unto Christ together and invite and then get out of the way and allow it to happen. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.